There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon and Cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defence against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivander's. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah yes, yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me, Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you. Beechwood and dragon hearts. Holly and phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed. 
that you should be destined for this one when it's brother. Why its brother gave you that scar? Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes, yeah. but great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Over here, Mr. Potter. Bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. If you'd kindly follow me. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. Them in the cages. 
If you'd kindly follow me. a spell while moving. You need to target the shield on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. Mr. Potter. <laughs> With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. This time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo! 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 Mr. Potter. If you'd kindly follow me. Hey. Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once, gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Ooh. Oh, wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor, too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. Come on, we've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefect's Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. You huh? must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming! We'd better go!
Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. everyone keep up gather round here password you need a password to enter the common room this year it's caput draconis caput draconis well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. Password? Caput Draconis. Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard weezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts, Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. And as a special bonus, for just 10 beans, you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow, I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. You can come back as often as you like, Harry. We'll be here. Huh? Hey!
OK, Harry, it's been a long day. I'm really tired and I'm off to bed. Morning, Harry. Do you know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points, and they can also take them away. Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't want to be late. Double potions with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle. And my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe? You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion-making. As there is little foolish wand-waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. But 
don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark. Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quiddle next. Class dismissed. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defence Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. This lesson is with Professor Quirrell. I've been really looking forward to it. Good, good day, class. Today we are going to have a most illuminating experience when we l learn the wand lighting spell, Lumos. Not only can this light be used to illuminate dark areas, b b but it is also used to reveal s secrets. Lumos is also a useful spell to use against s spectral beasts, such as g g guy trashes and g g ghosts, provided you b b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the s spell, you, you must each enter the s spell challenge. N n Neville, how about you first? <laughs> Potter, your turn. The Lumos spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom.
That's a challenge shield, Mr. Potter. You need to collect them all for the highest grade. Sardine flavor. A pumpkin pasty.
shield. Wow, the Lumos spell! Maybe I could use this to find my way out. Yuck! Mmm, chocolate! A wizard card! Shield. Flavor. Thank <laughs> you. 
shield. A cauldron cake! shield. G good one, Harry. I'll g give that a b, b b. That's all for t t today. Class dismissed. Flying class next, Potter. Mmm, coconut. Oh, earwax. Mmm, peppermint. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. I need to go and find Ron. Good afternoon, class. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Madam Hooch. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. You see before you a course comprising enchanted rings. 
What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! Right. Now for the examination, where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. Outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've earned your house a few points there. Longbottom, your turn. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Mi Mr. 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 Longbottom. <laughs> oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right, up you get. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Come oh. on, dear. Did you see his face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy! No. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. Potter, too slow to catch me. Don't think this is the last of it, Potter. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want. Wizard's Duel? What's the matter? Never heard of a Wizard's Duel. Of course he has. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Ones only. No contact. Dear Harry, would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? I want to hear all about your first day, Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me.
make yourselves at home. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. Hey, Ron. Somebody broke into Gringotts. Listen. Believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, had been emptied earlier that very same day. That's odd. That's the vault that Hagrid and I went to. Hagrid, I need to collect some ingredients for potions class. Do you know a good place to find plants in the school grounds? I have a lot of strange things growing out near my garden. You're welcome to go take a look. Be careful, mind. Wouldn't go wandering round at night. And then again, there are some pretty fearful things in here during the day. There you go. Be careful, Harry. People only die in proper duels. You know, with real wizards. The most you and Malfoy will be able to do is send sparks at each other. Neither of you knows enough magic to do any real damage. I bet he expected you to refuse anyway. If he tries to curse you, you'd better dodge it. Because I can't remember how to block them. Half past eleven, we'd better go. I can't believe you're going to do this, Harry. You? Go back to bed. Come on. A wizard card! What was that? Pig snout. A 
wizard card! How much is this Bertie Bot's bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. Motor Mortis! Hey! Come here! Hey! Don't you care about Gryffindor? Do you only care about yourselves? I don't want Slytherin to win the House Cup. And you'll lose all the points I got from Professor McGonagall for knowing about switching spells. Go away! All right, but I warned you. You just remember what I said when you're on the train home tomorrow. You're so... Now what am I going to do? That's your problem. We've got to go. We're going to be late. I'm coming with you. Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. Follow me to the fourth floor. Liver? Over here, Potter! Brought reinforcements, have you? Good. They can watch you lose. Follow me and let's finish this. Huh? Bye bye, Gryffindor. Ha ha ha! Looks like you've fallen into the Forbidden Corridor. It's a good job I let Professor Snape know. He'll be there any second now. Bye bye! Malfoy! There's only one way out of here and it's locked. Do you know any spells that can unlock it? Well, as it happens, I do. It's the Alahamora unlocking spell, but I don't actually know how to cast it. However, I do remember reading somewhere that the Alahamora spellbook is kept in the library. I've heard there's a shortcut to the library down that corridor. 
You're going to have to find the Alahomora spellbook, Harry. Then come back here and get us out! Flavor. Mm, mm, mm. Coffee. Uh, spinach flavor. Spinach flavor. Marmalade. Wizard card! More a spell book. Thank goodness that's over with. It isn't over yet. We still have to get back to the Gryffindor common room. Cast Halohomora at the door and it will open up. Halohomora! <laughs>
way. Through this door, Harry. Quick, in here! That was close. Ron, what are you... Sorry, Harry. I meant this door. Wizard card! Password? Caput Draconis. Good. 